You may think that after a long hard day of doing science experiments that Mick and I would just want to sit back, relax, and maybe enjoy a small aperitif. You might think that, but in fact what we're going to do is another science experiment, this time using this rather ominous looking dark liquid. So Mick, what is this liquid? Well fortunately it's not too ominous, it's Tia Maria. Oh, Tia Maria, the liqueur. Exactly, it's a coffee based coffee. liqueur and it's quite viscous and thick. Smells very nice, and you're right, it is viscous, it kind of has a, the consistency of molasses, you, you could say. Rather thick. So what does this have to do with the experiment? Well, you're going to pour that into the plate here. Really? You are, yeah. I'm sorry oh, about that. It seems like a bit of a waste, but okay, I guess yeah, it's for science. It is, so indeed. here we go. We'll it's pour it into the plate. plate. There we go. This experiment actually works well in the glass by itself, but you get a good view of what's happening if you use a plate. Well, we certainly have a good view. Okay. So we've got our Tia Maria in the plate. Nothing much going on there. What happens now? You're going to need, an need another liquid. Okay. This does not look like a liqueur. No. doesn't smell like a liqueur. No, that's cream. It's cream. cream. It's okay. pouring cream. It's um, single cream or table cream. Table cream. Double cream okay. tends to be too thick and it doesn't work and it doesn't work with milk either. This is just about perfect. It's now, the in-between cream. It's the in-between cream. Not too thick, not too runny. But you're going to pour very gently over the surface now. Okay, you, so just you, like... You, yeah, you can do it like that, but it, more gently with a spoon. If you, All right, here we go. If your spoonfuls poured out onto there, Just, great. Just, do, I guess you just spoon it on top. That's right. Here we go. Yeah, very gently. Okay, there, there it is. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, that looks interesting. Should I keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay, here we go. Maybe another one after that as well. Okay. Now you can probably see more. already that something's going Ooh, on. Oh, yeah, I can actually. Yeah. So let's go. go. Oh, look at this. Hey, you can see oh what's going on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this one here. Yeah, okay, so this is what I see. It's a very complicated, convoluted outline now. It's breaking up into all of these cells. If I look very closely, uh, I see the cells are, uh, they're, it looks they're like rotating. they're convecting, they're That's rotating, right. yeah. In fact, they look like little pulsing lips. In fact, convection know. is exactly the right word because although we usually think of convection as, be, as being in a hot liquid with different regions of temperature in the liquid, this is solutal convection, which takes place when two liquids of different densities are mixed. And this is a particularly special version which gives it an incredible pattern, as you can see. What's happening is that the alcohol from the Tia Maria is pushing up through the cream. When it reaches the surface, it creates an area where the surface tension is reduced. So the rest of the surface yanks at that surface tension because that's higher surface tension in the rest of the area. Starts to pull the alcohol away. Okay, so let me see if I understand this. You've got the cream sitting on top of the alcohol, the alcohol diffusing up through the cream, That's right. and the cream has a certain surface tension, like, kind of like elastic bands on yeah. the surface, but when that alcohol comes up through, it changes the surface tension, and what, the cream pulls back. Yeah, the cream pulls back and pulls the alcohol away so too. So more alcohol so coming up, exactly. and it's just going around and around. You can see those rolls. They're exactly. rolling, and they're getting larger as we speak. They're just rolling and rolling and rolling. What is uh, really impressive about this is you can just see this amount of motion, it almost seems as though we've got a hot plate under the plate because it, it looks like we You would be, think there was heat there. It, it looks yeah, like it's boiling. No yeah. uh, and you kind of wonder where is all this energy coming from? But it's not a chemical reaction, it's not it's temperature. It's known as salutal convection. Salutal convection. That's just fantastic. Well, Mick, thanks for telling us about this really nifty effect. If you'd like to find out more about this and plenty of other science experiments that you can do around the house, here's the book you need.